Hello everyone, this is Harvard Branch Line Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Thomas Wooden Railway James Sorts It Out set. This set was part of the Sodor Story Collection that Mattel released in 2014. The set retailed for $225, which totally isn't a bit steep, but I didn't even pay half that for mine, so it works out. The set includes a storybook that the set itself is based on. The story isn't great, but it's definitely leagues better than Logan and the Big Bull Engines in terms of both writing and illustrations. You also get this weird activity sheet that goes with the book's moral about problem solving. The set includes an exclusive paint-covered James, Victor, Kevin, and a standard cargo car with a Steamworks cargo block. A surprising addition is Colin Lecrane, who was reintroduced specifically for this set. He also comes with a cargo bin and a hazard striped track piece that can be attached to him. Funny enough, he can't actually reach this track with his book. You also get some more of these really nice hazard striped straight tracks. Once assembled, this set is massive, but I feel like it's a bit too empty in the middle. So James goes to the wharf to pick up a load of paint from Colin, but then Colin drops the crates onto James. You get this plastic cargo piece that's supposed to represent the broken crates. It fits perfectly onto James's boiler and it sits at an angle, which looks neat. After leaving the wharf, James heads to the steamworks. You basically slide this section of track into the building so that he can be worked on. The wood here is incredibly high quality, which was the big selling point of these specialty sets. Inside, there's a paint canister where you can select the paint color, as well as some tools. This reminds me of the Abbey Repair Shop from the early 2000s. On the walls, you can also see illustrations of Henry and Emily, who both appear in the Steamworks in the book. After James leaves the Steamworks, he goes under and then over the arched stone bridge. The details on this bridge are really nice. After passing the bridge, James arrives at the barrel loader to pick up some oil for Colin. I actually never had the learning curve barrel loader as a kid, so this was a nice addition to my collection. It's really well made. After flipping the lever to load the cargo car with an oil drum, James brings the oil back to Colin at the wharf. This set isn't available anymore, unfortunately, but if you manage to come across it, I highly recommend it. It's easily one of the best things that came out of the wooden railway while Mattel was in charge, and it serves as a bittersweet reminder of how they used to actually care about the quality of the toys and the show. 